Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. Are you looking to take your Madden game to the next level? Look no further than Sybil.gg for the best ebooks on the market. Choose one of two membership options, and don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 25% off. What's going on guys? Today we are looking at the brand new player of the week, Josh Allen. Before we hop into it though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 22 content. And also we'll leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. We are live almost every single night over on Twitch. If you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. And the shout out for today's video goes to my man, D-Man Does. Shout out to D-Man Does for commenting the emoji on last video. So here is the team of the week, 91 overall, Josh Allen. The card's got 83 speed, 85 acceleration, 90 awareness, 91 throw power, 91 short, 86 mid with an 89 deep. So powered up does hit that 90 deep accuracy. But my favorite stat on this card is that 93 throw on the run. That's why I loved his core elite card so much because there weren't a lot of quarterbacks that had that high throw on the run as well as set feet. And I'm telling you right now, Having a good throw on the run is very valuable on a gunslinger quarterback because unlike set feet where your feet have to be set for the added velocity, with gunslinger, the ball gets out faster and also you can make those throws on the run with the added velocity and the quicker animation. So good throw on the run is always important. It'll be good for like, you know, delay phases are rolling out. And in this game, people are already nuts. Like quarterbacks in this game, they just make some of the most ridiculous throws of all time. So having that 93 throw on the run with the gunslinger, this card's going to play great. And on, you know, Josh Allen's core elite card, the card rolled out fine. He got out to the pocket very well. So only upgrading the speed there, but I love his accuracy stats. There is one stat I'm a little bit afraid of because yeah, Josh Allen is a guy you probably think you can like run people over with like, you know, 6'5". What does he weigh? 233, you know, has good ball carrier vision, good speed. And you might feel a little bit confident, you know, rolling out, doing stuff like that. But 63 carrying on Josh Allen. So be careful with 63 carrying. I believe I already have Zach Wilson and him compared here. And yeah, right here, you guys can see, wait, where is it? Yeah, 78 carrying on Zach Wilson compared to 63 on Josh Allen. So if you are someone that likes running with your quarterback and you want to try Josh Allen, just be careful. Get down and slide. I know, you know, Josh Allen has had fumbling issues in the past, so that's probably why his carrying stat is where it is. But just be careful there. And as far as who I think my top three QBs in the game are, and I'll probably... I'll probably say this after the video as well, but I think in Marino at one, obviously, I mean, Marino's just amazing. And then I put Josh Allen two and, you know, Zach Wilson at three. I think it's pretty close though, um, between Josh Allen and Zach Wilson. Once you ha kind of have that gunslinger, I do think that Josh Allen's release will be miles better than Zach Wilson's um, just because Zach Wilson kind of ha has a unique release and I've used Josh Allen on um, his core elite card. Yeah, I didn't have Gunslinger, but I did enjoy that release a whole lot. So I do imagine that I love this card, obviously. I mean, Josh Allen's team of the week card. He basically gets one every year. So this is really nothing new. Josh Allen is going to be a dog. I can promise you that. And you're going to see a lot of this guy. I mean, going for 451K right now, I do expect that price to probably get down to like 370, 380. So if you can be patient, I try my best. But good, deep, better deep throw accuracy than Zach. I believe he's got better mid too and better short, obviously. And um, yeah, better throw on the run, better speed. So yeah, basically it's an upgraded version of Zach Wilson. Better stats, better release, and uh, better height as well. I think he's three inches taller. So um, let's go over the abilities real quick. You actually do not need to power up Josh Allen in order to get Gunslinger. So in today's video, you're going to see basically the worst version of Josh Allen. I do kind of like doing gameplays like this where you guys kind of see the base player because say you have a Bills theme team, so you have maybe some strategy cards or you know what you're you're willing to power this guy up. I feel like you know seeing the card at its lowest is really good to see because you're like, oh, this guy can get better than what I'm seeing in this video right now. Sometimes I do like doing the videos where I stack at the player if I have him on a theme team, but most videos I've been kind of liking the idea of like the like, like basically the completely nude player, so you guys can see. Um, the potential of the card. I kind of like doing that. So yeah, it can get Gunslinger without being powered up. When he is powered up though, I wonder what abilities he can get. Does he get any new ones? I doubt he does, but let's see. I believe in yeah, nothing really new, um, like no escape artist, obviously. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure these are the same exact abilities. So Josh Allen should ball out for us today. I'm excited. Here's what the card stats would look like if he was fully powered up, 92 overall. Um, does hit, yeah, 94 throw on the run. This looks stupid at this point of the year. But hey, let's hop into it. I'm excited to use Josh Allen. This guy balls out every single year in month since he's kind of been that guy for the Bills. So um, that's enough talking. Let's hop into it. All right, here we go. Game number one with Josh Allen. And man, I am excited. I've kind of already used a Josh Allen card. Like I said, I'm sure a lot of us have already used a Josh Allen card this year because... 
kind of at launch, we were all kind of learning the game, and then once we once we learned that Josh Allen gets set feet any somewhat quick, like yeah, it just made sense that everyone had him for a little bit there. But the plan right now is to try to get wide over the middle. There's Josh Allen doing a dot first first down of the day. Hopefully that's the first of many. Okay, he's not sending too much pressure, and we should have be open with a quick dot. Get it there, Josh. And this is why I like cribs that that spin. Get out there, cribs. He almost he got hawked by by Devin White. All right, here we go. Let's try the wheel. Okay, he's playing man coverage, I think. This is where we can run with Josh Allen. But again, you want to be careful. Like, you don't want to take that hit. You want to slide with Josh Allen, even if it's a smaller corner. You might you might look at, like, a small corner and think, oh, I have Josh Allen, 6'5", 230. I'm going to run this dude over. But please do not think that. My opponent has already quit. Let's hop into game number two. Didn't get a touchdown. This has been happening a lot recently. Let's hop into game two. I don't even know what to say. All right, here we go. Apparently, we're in the Super Bowl for this Josh Allen gameplay. I... Uh, I think he's got a Raiders team. I see Raiders jerseys. I think I saw Jerry, maybe. Yeah, Raiders themed team in the Super Bowl. It, this should be interesting. Um, I don't. I didn't know I was even in my playoffs. I had no idea. I think I. I think I was playing in my playoffs in that last game. I mean, I had to have been because apparently this is my Super Bowl or his Super Bowl. I don't know what this is. All right, third and twelve. Not the greatest start to a Super Bowl game, but we're gonna try our best. Um, roll out and the corner route should get open. Josh Allen's gonna deliver it, and I probably shouldn't have racked that. That was kind of ballsy by me. I thought I'd get better pass lead, but there's that throw on the run right there from Josh Allen. That's why you love this card so much. One reception, 31 yards, and dude, ever since that update, man, cover three plays corner routes are really bad. So one thing I've definitely noticed, it plays it really bad. But we'll try to. All right, no one's open. Oh, I should went to the corner. I look, he had the corner. Throw it away. And like previously, when we have quarterbacks that are added into the game that that you know might not have escape artists, you usually can't feel their speed and acceleration. But in Madden 22 Next Gen, one thing I definitely love about this game is how they have made it so you're able to feel the, you know the acceleration of your quarterback and get away from those linemen, which is something I love about this game right now for sure. And I'm gonna hit A here, tough throw. We get it there. Put that back, Jimmy. And we actually almost got out of there. That, that's a throw that does get a little bit tight, but I saw he doesn't have acrobat on Mo Riggs, so I'm throwing that ball very confidently. So right back to it, maybe. Are we going to get a little tight, potentially? We'll see. Try to go the middle and snap throw that. Up the middle, good throw right there from Josh Allen. Didn't bullet pass that. That was a bullet pass. That ball's probably picked off. Jimmy Graham right up the middle there. And um, yeah, I kind of saw that he was playing. His, his middle third was already kind of on the outside. So didn't want to If that was a bullet pass, things probably picked off. Nice little touch pass over the top for a touchdown. And we like that, man. Good first drive for Josh Allen. Made a few nice throws in the run. And um, in, the, in the first game, we also had a nice run. And but right, right before the guy quit, got down, thankfully. Didn't fumble. But so far, Josh Allen feels like you would expect a great Josh Allen card to feel in this game. Not surprised at all by anything. This card's going to be a very frustrating card to face because not only can he dodge you and throw the ball 70 yards on the field like how Madden 22 plays or whatever, but yeah, he can also, you know, chunk 15, 20 yards if you forget about him. So... One of those cards that's kind of scary. I am kind of liking how, you know, EA's dropping a lot of fast quarterbacks. Even Marino had 78 speed, which is just unheard of for a damn Marino card. Like, you guys don't even understand how crazy 78 speed on Marino. I think he had, like, Loki, he had, like, 47 speed on his first card last year. Second and goal, this guy's chewing this clock. We haven't seen it since our first possession. And it's games like, it's games like this where I usually do lose because... In these gameplays, especially because, you know, I'm going to come down there. I'll, I'll probably throw a dumb pick and he'll probably score it again. Um, he's just, just trying to push this ball down the field because you got to remember, this is this guy's Super Bowl. This is not another head-to-head -head game for him. This is his Super Bowl. So he's going to be putting, he's going to be going balls to the wall here. I'm um, playing no games. But if we can get a nice tut here, that'd be nice. We'll see what he comes out and he's playing the like cover three. I still don't really have a consistent cover three beater with this new, yeah, with the whole new uh, cover three the way it plays. But so we can do a nice return would be a great start to, to this drive, man. Maybe a one little spin outside and we're there. We'll see what we can do. Make a miss. Cut it. Oh, we almost fumbled. Okay, thankfully we did not. I feel like it has been getting open. And it is open. Yeah, good throw. We got that. We got that all day. Let's go. Nice. Wait, we weren't in right there? I have no clue how that was not a catch, but I'm not going to. Oh, he's blitzing. Straight up blitz. Oh, I'm throwing it up. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. We got we to gotta pray here. Look at this. Look at the look at the gun right there from Josh Allen. Touchdown. Jimmy Graham's like that. Touchdown, Jimmy Graham. Wow. Okay. I, I don't know how Josh Allen actually got that football there, but I love putting that rat out there. It was all dogs off the back foot under pressure. Von Miller in his face threw that ball probably 60 yards in the air, pop fly, maybe even further than 60, and we scored a touchdown on it. That's the plays that I usually throw picks on, and they get returns back to the field goal range, and they end us like that. But Jimmy Graham, Josh Allen, I can't believe Josh Allen just made that throw with that range. That is, like, you see what I mean? Like, quarterbacks in Madden 22, they make throws like that. 
Not saying that, you know, that that ball obviously maybe should have been deflected or incomplete, but the fact that ball is even accurate or even near him or not under thrown, like that was a good pass lead, like off the back foot under pressure, that's that's probably the most impressive throw that I've done so far in a quarterback gameplay, to be honest with you, man. That was a that wasn't even a laser, that was just a that was just like a that was actually the way Josh went with their football in real life. Just close his eyes and say, Yeah, you know, Diggs down there somewhere, man. Diggs has to be down there. But well, he's about to get a field goal. Over the middle, we got everything in a snuggie. He wants to probably hit over. Uh, oh my. Inbounds. Wow. Was he actually inbounds there? And it's not probably going to work. We're going to try to release. I'm just going to throw the ball away. I'm not going to try to get too cute. But at halftime, we're up one. He did score and didn't miss a two-point conversion. So, uh, yeah, we're out here versus Showtimes. His ball out of the halves. So we got another stop. Dude's going to chew the clock down. I probably won't see the rest. I probably won't see this ball for the rest of the game, I have to imagine. So, yeah, this should be interesting. Uh, let's just try to get a stop. I don't know. I probably, I probably won't show you guys too much of this drive, so I'm sure it'll be a really, really long and boring one. I'm going to try to throw this corner out to B-Marsh. Tough throw, tough throw, and Agam. Cheat him. No, 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 no. Not good, not good, not good. All right, we're going to strike a prison open. We got him, 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 we got him. Get out. Go, corner. Okay, we're fine. Oh, low-key? Oh, I thought I had on um, what's-his-name open, but I guess I didn't. Josh Allen, playmaker, get a field there with Curtis Martin. And let's get out of bounds. Not good. This man coverage he's playing, I've never seen man coverage play against me so well before, but this man coverage is actually kind of crazy. I, I've, like I said, I've never seen it. I've never seen man coverage stick and just play where his is playing. Usually, like, you get some separation with, you know, set feet or guns or quarterbacks. You can kind of slip it in there. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but... This dude's Raiders te theme team, bro. I, I know I, I, if you missed the theme team video yesterday, there, there's a reason why these guys are at the top, man. Raiders theme team is the real deal. Let's keep a cross out there. Oh, shoot. Over the middle, right there. Let's go. First down, first down, first down. No, I, I'm going for it. Dot, get it there. Please catch it. Let's go. No. Oh, my God. I thought I had the broken tackle and missed my run backwards. Here we go. Get out. We should have a touchdown here. So pass. Score this. Let's go. Touchdown. Whew. That was kind of wild. Oh, he went underneath the hit. Oh, I'm, why am I click? Oh, ball. No. Yeah, that's game. That is game right there. Um, not, yeah, he's running this thing down and um, get a hit maybe. Nope, nothing. Timeout. Damn. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Josh Allen gameplay. And this card, he really didn't surprise me because I did expect this from Josh Allen. I mean, you know, having the ability to roll out, great throw on the run, and great accuracy, a crazy arm, as you guys saw at the end of the half there. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't walk out of the uh, Super Bowl game with a win. But Josh Allen, he did his thing, man. He really did. Very impressive card. If you played Madden 21, you know about his team standout and his player of the week last year. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure which week it was, but I know Josh Allen did have like a 92 overall card that he got. But I kind of love when, he, uh, you know, the team of the week cards kind of throw off Madden's schedule because EA didn't really have a choice but to drop a Josh Allen, especially after back-to-back -back weeks of defensive player of the weeks. They kind of had to drop an offensive guy, and Josh Allen had just a crazy week, five total tuds, 360, um, and just absolutely flooded Washington. But, yeah, they, didn't, they really didn't have a choice. And right after Marino literally came out on Friday, and now you already have people selling Marino for Josh Allen. So I don't think EA wanted to drop a quarterback this soon after Marino, but they really didn't have a choice. So shout out to Josh Allen. And his price has already fallen 70K since the intro. So his price might continue to fall, maybe like 350 for this guy potentially. Could be a nice price. But honestly, my biggest tip right now, if you are someone that is going to want to buy Josh Allen, is I would hold off a little bit. His price will fall. And I think that, you know, if you have Zach Wilson with Gunslinger going for under 100K right now, I'd probably hold off. I don't think the difference between Josh Allen and Zach Wilson is about 200K. Maybe it's like 50K to maybe 100K, somewhere in that range. But 200K differential in performance, I don't think it's that drastic. But Josh Allen, top two quarterback in the game. And I guess maybe, you know, it'd be harder to debate Allen over Marino. But maybe you could. Hey, let me know down below what you guys think. But if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 22 content. And if you are still watching, let's comment the buffalo emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.